guys and welcome to my channel. I have another super messy complete disaster clean with me for you guys today. I hope this video gives you tons of motivation to clean your own home or to just check off your to-do list and I hope that it maybe makes you feel a little bit less alone <laughs> if maybe your home looks like this sometimes. We have some more things on the table right now because we did schoolwork. We actually are a homeschooling family, so we had to take a quick break from cleaning to do some schoolwork, and then we just pack it all up and put it back in the closet under the stairs. So I'm just kind of going through their bins and getting them organized and putting them away. But we are home a lot since we are a homeschooling family, and this house gets messy. But we are tackling it all today, and I hope that you enjoy coming along with me. I'm out of reasons, I'm out of rhyme, but I'll only tell you that I'm out of time. I'm 
sick of love songs. I'm tired of this. Hey guys, so I wanted to stop really quickly and thank today's video sponsor, which is Aura. Aura has completely changed the way I view the internet, and I think it's a super amazing tool, especially for moms out there who are trying to monitor the internet for their kids, as well as protect their own information, their passwords, their emails. I was actually shocked when I signed up for Aura to find out that my password was leaked in some data breaches and that one of my email addresses was too. They actually identify data brokers that are selling your information and they will submit opt-out requests on your behalf, which I would have no idea that that was even happening or how to do that without Aura. They'll even opt you out of telemarketing lists and junk mail, which I know drives me crazy. This is something that I definitely was aware that was going on and it is so nice to just have all of that cleared out. So I had no idea that this was happening, but it's actually very popular that these data brokers will sell your information to telemarketers, robocallers, spammers, or just basically anyone who wants more information about you. As a mom, I'm so glad that I found Aura because even before knowing that your personal information is literally being sold online, I know that the internet has tons of dangers on there, especially for children, and I've always felt kind of unsure of what to do or how to protect them until Aura. So using the app, you can set focus times, you can restrict certain apps, and you can even set time limits so your kids aren't binging YouTube all day. Something super awesome too is you can customize what your kids view online and alert you if it recognizes cyberbullying, online predators, or even toxic gaming behavior. All in all, if you're a mom, you 100% need to sign up. It has given me such peace of mind that I have been searching for for many years. Aura's app also features a VPN, password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitoring, internet parental controls, and protects your devices from malware. Aura has almost every internet safety tool you'll need all inside one app. So let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. If you sign up right now, Aura will give you a two week free trial using my link and you will be shocked by how much private information Aura finds exposed over those two weeks. Go to aura.com slash Madison. I will also have it linked down below in the description box. And thank you so much Aura for sponsoring today's video and for keeping us safe online. All right, so now that we have the dining room somewhat under control, at least there's not M&Ms all over the floor and crayons all over the floor, and the schoolwork is put away and all of that, um, I thought I would come into the kitchen and try to tackle this mess as well. We are still going to go back to the dining room, though, because that rug was nasty. It really, really needed a deep clean, like a vacuum, moving all of the chairs and everything. So. We are going to do that in a minute, but first I am tackling the kitchen. Oh, I also want to mention a couple of things. One is that a lot of times people will comment or question about why the puppy is in her crate or why she's on a leash or anything like that. And the reason is just that she's a puppy and she's still learning and she will chew things up and she can swallow something and hurt herself. So if we can't watch her at the moment, then we will put her in her crate for a little bit. It's also been really good for her because she learns that being in her crate is like a good safe place. So when we do have to leave her at home alone, we can put her in there and she's not barking or whining or upset anymore. She just chills in there. We also don't usually bring the crate downstairs like I have here anymore because she's gotten much better um, about just being downstairs and not chewing on everything so this is kind of in the past she's already moving forward and progressing and doing an awesome job so we're very proud of her and then the quick other thing I want to say is that I have been posting a lot on my blog channel I posted a blog here and there but I've also been posting a ton about homeschooling so if you are interested in that type of content then definitely go subscribe over there as well. I will always have it linked down in the description box. I don't think we got enough time. 
To sort out all the fights yeah. To sort out all the lies Oh baby, yeah oh, no. There was a part of me that knew that And still I'm caught by surprise oh. I thought you'd always be mine oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep There's no passion in the comatose yeah. Baby going down, 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 down yeah. Baby going down, 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 down yeah. Tried so hard to stay afloat Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes yeah. Baby going down
cold That's something that you do to me is chemical I know, I know, I know it is logical Something that you do to me I'm the one with a broken heart Waiting for you to come out and save me I'm a mess, need to untangle And I'm a fool for you, baby, fool Tonight away, I'll kick 
my shoes up if I want Let yourself be free and maybe you will find that there is more to life than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better
So this bathroom was completely trashed courtesy of my 18 month old baby girl. She just trashed the place. Um, also though, you know, when we, I give the kids a bath, like they, it's just like World War III afterwards. Like they just throw water everywhere, toys everywhere, it gets crazy, and it just needed to be cleaned. So for all three of those reasons, this bathroom was a complete disaster, and I thought that while I was cleaning it up, I would declutter under this cabinet really quickly. It's nice to just spend a minute getting things back the way you like them you know maybe it got a little disorganized so that was nice to do I told myself that maybe he ain't worth it too bad I hate advice cause out of sight and out of mind is to the side So like I said, when the little guys, my three little ones, take a bath, it is like World War III happened in our bathroom. So as you can see, the tub gets very messy. Three little ones bathe in here, and it's been really muddy and yucky outside for a while. 
So yeah, this tub just gets pretty dirty, but I have to say I'm very grateful for this tub. So even though it's exhausting to clean um, because it's very big and it gets very dirty <laughs> because of my children, I'm very grateful for those children and I'm very grateful for this giant tub to bathe them in. So after tackling that dresser that was just covered with stuff and I could not go another moment without cleaning that off and then also cleaning the changing table because it was so nasty I could not go another moment without doing that. We do plan to like redo baby girl's room and um this little girl right here charlie rose <laughs> and so all those shoes and stuff will go in her room i say that every time but anyway so as you can see she made a mess here but my main thing i wanted to do in the living room was tidy up but then dust i feel like the living room hadn't been dusted since before i went to the hospital with my son and that was in October of last year so it was definitely due for a good dusting
change me Got the same old thoughts Be my referee I will be alright Never cut it right But somehow you make me change Like I'm better Another thing that had been in disarray since before we left for the hospital in October was these baskets. I needed to just declutter them and actually have things in there that we are using, not just extra random things that ended up in there. So it was really nice to tackle that as well. You know, it's interesting going through a trauma like we did with my son and um, just being gone from your home for a total of two and a half months and then also three months of dealing with serious health issues and everything. It was just a hard six months or so and I think it's going to take a really long time for us to fully recover but uh, Carter is doing great. He's gaining weight and he's doing awesome. So overall things are really great but it's just interesting for me to think like wow you know um that's why that's that way or whatever. It just reminds me of that time. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That's just a small way to support my channel and let YouTube know that you liked my video. And definitely subscribe if you are new and click the bell to be notified when I post new videos. And also go subscribe to my blog channel as well. I will have that linked down below. But as you can see, I picked up the toys that she took out again. And for the moment, the living room is looking nice and tidy for the moment. <laughs> See you next time, guys. Bye.